All right, Democrats in California want to give tax breaks to illegal immigrants. And if it gets passed, the move would cost taxpayers as much as $70 million. John Cox is a Republican gubernatorial candidate in California, and he joins us now with his reaction. He also has, we should point out, President Trump's endorsement. Mr. Cox, good morning. Good morning, Griff. Good morning, Abby. Good it's morning. early out here, I, it, I, but, but I'm up and at them. It is. Well, thank you, because we, we had to talk to you about this, John. Uh, yeah. Because sanctuary cities and health care for illegal immigrants wasn't enough, the Democrats in your state out there right. now want right. to give tax breaks to them. What is going on? Tax breaks is actually a misnomer. This is a refundable tax credit, a.k.a. welfare payment, basically. And this is a state that just enacted a gas tax that is driving the working people of this state into poverty. I'm going to repeal that. I mean, this is just a government that's out of control and doesn't respond to the people. And mm. now Gavin Newsom is the guy I'm running against. Yeah. He wants to double the income tax on working Californians. He wants to increase property taxes. And he wants to keep this gas tax. And then they're proposing to give welfare payments to illegal aliens. And i got to tell you, they're also talking about giving free medical care, uh, Medicaid, to illegals. That didn't make it into this budget, but rest assured, under Gavin mm -hmm. Newsom, that will be done. People do not want that. They are just sick of high-tax California. I think they're going to make a change in November, and they're going to elect me. Wow. All right. Well, so we reached out to Governor Brown, his office, for a statement about this tax uh, decrease for illegals. We've not yet heard back. We are waiting for their response. But um, yeah. as Griff mentioned, you have the endorsement from President Trump. Gavin Newsom is running with this. He says he tweeted out to President Trump saying, please come out to the state of California, campaign for John Cox as much as you possibly can. He feels that's only going to help him. What's your response? You know, Gavin Newsom is Exhibit A in craven politicians. And, of course, he wants this all to be about President Trump. But as I pointed out many times, President Trump didn't create roads that are some of the worst in the nation and more expensive than any other state. He didn't, President Trump didn't create a school system that ranks 45th in the nation. This state doesn't have enough water because they've been tearing down reservoirs instead of building them. This state has the worst tax environment, the worst business climate. President Trump had nothing to do with that. President Trump didn't create the sanctuary state in this state. Gavin Newsom did that. Do you think you know, it will help I, or do you think it would help or hurt you to have the president on the ground there I in California with you? The, I would love the president to be out here because he's a businessman. I'm a businessman. I am sick and tired of the mismanagement of this state. And I'm going to take over the management here and we're going to have a livable state. A state that is not the laughing stock mm -hmm. of the country, but is actually the shining city on a hill that President Reagan, and who was the governor of California mm -hmm. before that, uh, he talked about well, that. That's an interesting point, John, because you know President Trump's ratings now are similar to what Ronald Reagan's was at that at his same time in Absolutely. the presidency. Let me ask you this though: as goes as goes California, goes the rest of the country. It seems for the You're Democrats' right. handbook on being the headquarters of the resistance. Do you believe that we will see in November something happening that doesn't amount to that blue wave, and that the rest of the country, Democrats that is, will make that mistake? Listen, I'm going to nationalize this race. This state and this race here is going to be the resistance to the resistance. This is going to be about making the statement that we're sick of career politicians like Gavin Newsom. We're sick of the swamp. I'm going to clean out the barn in Sacramento, and we're going to make a statement that we are going to get this state managed properly without the corruption of these special interests and these career politicians. I'm all for the president coming out here. All right, John Cox, running for governor of California, a race we will all be watching closely. It is early. Thank you for waking up with us this up morning. Up before Thank 5 a.m. Thank you very much, John. Have a great Saturday. Good Thank you. you. You too.